Brandon's here, people. Let's go. How are you doing, mate? Yeah, not too bad, mate. Not too bad. Uh, I kind of just wanted to jump on and talk about the Gnabry situation because, mm. as I've seen in a couple of comments as well, I, I don't think there's anything in that. I think it's very much fan-led. But at the same time, Arsenal fans have just got to wish it into existence, mate, in my opinion. I think that's the obvious deal. I've got to be honest, out of, out of all the wingers that we're linked to, even including Rafinha, Gnabry's kind of the obvious choice there because he's got one year left on his contract. Um, he, he's, he's clearly not signing a deal at Bayern Munich. He's a fan of the football club as well. So a bit like uh, the whole Lissandro Martinez uh, thing with Man United, you've already got that link there. You know, uh, Lissandro Martinez has, has worked under Eric Ten Hag before. Gnabry's been at Arsenal before. He's, he's an Arsenal fan. He's an Arsenal boy. Just because, OK, it'll be a difficult deal to get done purely and simply because, you know, he's a Champions League quality player and he, he you know, he should be playing Champions League football. But if there's no other clubs going in for him, why can't we make a cheeky bid? Do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you know, he's going to cost you, what, 40 million quid, so he's going to be cheaper than Rafinha. It, I, in my opinion, he's, he's a better... Um, all-round player than Rafinha and it's it's a, a signing that would appease the fans as well so if Arsenal are, are genuinely not interested in Gnabry I can't understand why mate to be honest with you you know I, I think you know you throw your hat in the ring as the uh, comment section was just saying throw your hat in the ring see what see what could happen you, you never really know do you I mean at the end of the day who would have thought that Thomas Partey would come to Arsenal from Atletico Madrid, who were constantly in the Champions League when we was in the Europa League. And same for Aubameyang and Lacazette and that. And I know it's it's a completely different matter and stuff, but it, it, it can be done. It can be done. So that's what I would say on that one. Um, the Lissandro Martinez do, I, again, I agree with you. I think the connection there with Ten Hag, he's worked under, under him before. Man United, for me, they have a bigger pull than Arsenal, even though they're in a situation at the moment, because they're a bigger club. Uh, they can offer more money as well. Um, so it wouldn't surprise me if that deal did get hijacked. Um, and the Tielemans one as well. I'm kind of a little bit annoyed about this one, because this is a deal that should already be done for me. Um, we knew in January that we needed a, a number eight. We knew who we was interested in. We knew you know, that, that Tielemans was going to be the guy. Why is the deal not already done? Why are we leaving it? Again, so that, you know, clubs like Manchester United, you know, you see it with the Rafinha deal as well. Uh, Chelsea and all these lot can all of a sudden go, oh, actually, I quite fancy Tielemans at my club. And then they rival us four of them. And at the end of the day, again, I'm going to say, if you've got a choice between Arsenal and Manchester United, it's a 50-50 toss-up. If you've got a choice between Arsenal and Chelsea, I'm, I'm sorry, but players are going to pick Chelsea over Arsenal all day long, purely and simply because of where yeah. we are as a club at the moment and where they are. Mate, I, I totally get that. I think the, the, the Tillemans deal is very interesting to me because I sort of look at it from the angle of... I, just two weeks ago, Gunas saying... We're, it was the confidence and the arrogance to say, well, we can just walk away from it and come back to it later. And you may be able to. But if you miss out on Lissandro and Rafinha and then Tillemans, there's suddenly going to be a very different feel amongst Arsenal fans. And I said it at the time, I get the logic... I understand the approach, but just mm. as the old adage goes, you know, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. And if you end up lo losing Tillemans because you've gone for other targets, then it becomes, it goes from being mm. a, a brilliant looking summer to almost fe a feeling like a disaster. But the, the positive is this, and, and I think fans have got to remember, there's two months left of the transfer window. So there's still a long time to go. Yeah, see, my, my biggest issue is, obviously, we've, we've seen Arsenal over recent years and how their, their their dealings in the transfer market work. And we tend to have this being too slow in that. So a lot of Arsenal fans at the moment would say, don't panic, don't panic. But at the end of the day, the club hasn't given us anything, any reason to not panic. Do you know what I mean? Like we look at our recent years in the transfer market and we've proven time and time again that we don't get our business done when we should get it done. And we don't necessarily do the right business. So I think it's right for us to put a little bit of pressure on the club because at the end of the day, we haven't got that trust there. But at the same time, you know, if these deals get hijacked,
then to me, it just it just goes to show that we just haven't got that pull um, that we used to have, even with, you know, Mikel Arteta. Some people would say Arteta is the pull, but I don't believe so. But what annoys me more than anything else is we didn't get our target in January. Uh, we decided, you know, not to get anybody in, in January, which ultimately for me cost us top four. But they kept telling us, we've got a plan. We've got a plan. So if you've got a plan, I expect you to execute that plan right now. You know, you've none of this waiting around. Get they've, it done. Got, they've got to deliver it. There's no doubt about it. Brandon, thanks for coming on, mate, and having your say. I really appreciate it, mate. Top, top man, brother. I'll speak to you soon. Thank you. Thank Cheers, you. Uh, good afternoon.